You know what I'm saying. It's the truth. It's the truth, man. They've got it. <laughs> they've got it now that if you wanna if you wanna help somebody that's out of gas, you got to call a board meeting. You got to sit for three days, discuss and count the figures and see if you got the money. And uh, man, it 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 takes a long time to get anything done. Do you hear me? <laughs> it's still the truth. It's still the truth. It's still the truth. You can get mad at, mad at me as hell is hot. It ain't going to change the truth of God. It's not going to change the will of God. One or two things is going to happen. One or two things are going to happen tonight. You're either going to love us or you're going to leave us. You see, because the ungodly cannot stand in the congregation of the righteous. And I'm telling you, if you don't lay down sin, if you don't lay down sin, you cannot be where Jesus is. You can't keep living a hypocrite life and expect to make heaven your home because you're believing a lie and you're going to be down. Listen to me. It's the truth. Who have you loved the hell out of today? I'm going to challenge you. If you're listening live or by way of the archive, I want you to pick you one person in your life that absolutely looks beyond hope. You prayed for them. The community's prayed for them. Everybody's praying for them. But it don't look like nothing's happening. I want you to pick you one individual, just one, because if you save one, it's worth it all. Yes, if you go into the world and by what God does through you and your actions, by being a doer of the word of God, if it causes one soul to repent and come running into the arms of Christ, it was worth all the hell you went through. So you pick you one, and you love the hell right out of them. You love them when it's hard. You love them when it when it don't sound right. You love them when it don't look good. You love them enough to tell them the truth. Love them some more. You love them enough to proclaim the gospel. Love them some more. You love them enough to lay hands on them. And if they're sick, they shall be healed. Love them some more. If they're hungry, you feed them. Love them some more. Well, if he for, if he messes up and sins and he repents, you forgive him again. And you keep telling him the gospel. You keep on loving the hell right out of them. They don't want to hear you but you get you a microphone and you speak loud. You get on the rooftop, man. Oh, my God. And you love the hell right out of them each and every day. And you either believe the word of God or you don't. I pray that you get on fire for God. I pray that you get off of pity and off the couch of doubt. I pray that you quit waiting on gas money. I pray that you quit waiting on things, material things, because I'm telling you, all things is possible with God. All things is possible with God. You men and women of God that claim to be born again, claim to be full of the Holy Ghost, I'll ask you a point blank question. Why are you not busy about the Father's business? What is your excuse? And will it hold up? on the day of judgment, and if that day be today, and you was to meet death, what will you hear Jesus say?
pieces of day. Amen. Praise God. Don't you want to go? Hey, you know, those of you that's living in like, you know, I mean, you know, your body's sick. You've been attacked every which way there is. Have you ever thought it's because you've got the brethren out there that's crying out to you and asking for help and you're doing nothing to know to do good and do it not to you? It is sin. All the 